Good evening and welcome to News Channel 8. I'm Jerome Aegean and here's some of the top stories we have for you tonight. Human Services Building in Frederickstead contaminated once again. The Governor speaks out about the tsunami warnings and let's get ready to graze in the grass with Hugh Masekela. These stories and more up next on News Channel 8. <laughs> Our top story tonight, the food stamp building in Frederickstead was shut down once again because of contamination. New Channel H West Small has more. Thanks a lot, Jerome. Here's what's going on. We are at Human Services in uh, the town of Frederickstead. News Channel 8 got a call a little while ago this morning, and I guess this pretty much describes it. This is not the first time that this reporter has been here because of some type of bacterial contamination. Microbiohazard. Respirators and protective clothing are required. All clients and folks who work here, the issuance office is closed immediately. Clients that need an EBT card, new or replacement, can go to the Christensen office. And there are the numbers there. When I got here, um, the place was pretty much vacant. Everyone was asked to leave the scene. The last of the workers are leaving now from this area. But I can tell you this, this is a very serious and dangerous situation as we have ADCON environmental services, I guess that they are part of the toxic cleanup duty. Some, some, some sandbags here, and look at that. I guess this is probably not a good thing that this reporter is standing so close to this poison air that's coming out of here. Commissioner Chris Bench is around the corner at a government annex office with his top managers and supervisors. And he told me that it could be two hours before he releases a statement. Information that he gives the press now could change within the next 30 minutes. That's how serious this situation is. So if you have MAP cards, SNAP cards, EBT, food stamp, or what have you, you'll just have to follow the procedure as we show you the various numbers. Very frustrating, like I said. I've been here about nine or 10 times before, just like I've been to Charles Harwood Hospital in Christiansted, and there is a pretty nasty odor coming out of here, so I need to get the crew out of harm's way. Ah, that wraps it up for now. If you have any appointments here or you're scheduled to work, you need to really pay close attention to the media's announcements from Commissioner of Human Services, Chris Finch. In the town of Frederickstead, I'm Wes Small for News Channel 8. Thanks for that story, Wes. And Human Services Commissioner Chris Finch has announced that services will resume tomorrow on Prince Street at the Frederickstead Government House. Finch says the situation should be cleared up in a week. And in other news tonight, ever since the ongoing tsunami disaster in Japan, the threats are becoming more and more of a reality. News Channel 8's Wes Small files this report with Virgin Islands Governor John D. Young. Thanks a lot, Jerome. You know, it's interesting what you'll get when you get Hugh Masekela coming off the plate. We have the Governor, Honorable John D. Young. And Governor, thank you. I know you're in between flights and everything. I'd like to start off with the tsunami um, warnings from Baitima that they're really anxiously working on. I know that you feel for our brothers and sisters in, in the Japan area, and I know that you're also concerned about our environment with the nuclear activity and possibilities of tsunamis. How important and vital is it that you guys are on board with Baitima at a time like this? Tremendously, you know, that, that is one of the reasons that we did the reorganization, is to remove Baitima from being a unit of the National Guard to be a, a cabinet level. And we did that in conjunction with working with the TAG, but also bringing back Mark Walters, who for a very long time served for that transition, did a lot of tremendous work. And now we have uh, Elton Lewis, who himself comes with the benefit of having been in the police department, having been a, the, the second in charge in the National Guard, and now he's head of Vitima. But, and, and we've always recognized that it's not a matter of if we're going to have a, a natural disaster. The question is when and what type of disaster. And yes. over the years, ever since Hugo, we've been a lot smarter about hurricanes. 
And for the last year and a half, our focus has been to be a lot smarter about the possibility of tsunamis or anything outside of a hurricane as a natural disaster. And that's why a number of the desktop exercises that we do, the exercise that we're having on March 23rd, um, my support for an initiative by the governor of Puerto Rico that we have a tsunami warning system over in Puerto Rico within this region as opposed to being out in the northwest. We have, we're, we about a, two months ago started to do a contract with James Lee Witt uh, Company to look at tsunami planning and just begin to be sensitive to that because if there's one thing and we all we all can, can sympathize with what's happening in Japan because we ourselves have gone through natural disasters. And yes, sir. So we know um, what it feels like. But the one thing I think we have to I recognize about Japan, they were prepared. That you will notice that the resolve with them, that they're not complaints as much as where we're going, what we're doing. And education on tsunamis and things in addition to hurricanes is really something that we're focused on. And, and Elton Lewis is really focused on doing that. And that's been his focus ever since he came on board. And it's something that... I want to do in addition to making sure we rebuild a facility here on St. Croix is to be sensitive and train our staff to be just as prepared on hurricanes, natural disasters, chemicals, everything else. Thank you very much. John DeYoung, governor, and he's on his way um, back and forth. It's hard to keep up with him. He really moves around. Governor, thank you very, thank you very much. much. Thank you. And good luck for the rest of the term. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. All right, there you heard it. Remember, we just had a 5.4 and La Romana off the coast of La, La Romana just yesterday in the Dominican Republic. Isn't it good to know that our leaders in power then are, are trying to uh, set the bar and to alert us? Because I got to tell you, when a tsunami comes, earthquake, there is just about no warning at all. At the seaplane at the airport in Christiansted, I'm Wes Small for News Channel 8. And we want to thank Governor John DeYoung for those words tonight. Well, here he is, Hugh Masekela, a true jazz legend. He's arrived for concerts on St. Croix as well as on St. Thomas. News Channel 8's Wes Small got the chance to catch up with him. Grayson in the grass is so real, you could dig it. And this real, and this real, and this real, and this. Hey, Hugh Masekela and Lyra here. And um, it's a pleasure for this reporter because you are a legend. And thank you very much for coming here. I know y'all want to get to your hotel. You are going to um, tear the roof off the sucker at Island Center um, tomorrow night. And then you go to Reichhold. And we'll start with the ladies first, Lyra. <laughs> Is this your first time in the Virgin Islands? This is my first time. I'm extremely excited. Um, I'm feeling right at home. Everyone's been so warm and so welcoming. Wow. Yeah. And of course, you are from? I'm from South Africa. All right. Yeah. Just like you. That's right. Home That's us. Home We're homies. <laughs> How long have you been doing this year? For nine years. For nine years. Yes. Loving it every minute of it. I am. I feel very privileged. You know, this is, this is my heart. This is my spirit. And I get to um, do it for a living. So what more could you ask for? Thank you very much. Excellent. We wish you much success. Thank you. Hugh, you're the man. Raising in the grass himself, right? Can you dig it? Can you dig it? <laughs> you know, I want to tell you something. I can't decide which 45 was my first that I ever What's bought. A 45? <laughs> A 45. For a second, you are so young. For a second, man. I can't text message either. But you. That's what my granddaughter asked me on it. Grandpa, what's this? What was a 45? This is a 45. What's a 45? You, um, <laughs> to Sir with Love had come out, and I bought Lulu, you know, the little yeah. 45. And then Grazing in the Grass came out, yeah. and I got yours. And I was so happy. My dad, you didn't get much allowance back then, and I bought home. My dad is like, ah, oh, you're getting hit because he's an old John Coltrane, Miles Davis guy. But Hugh, I... I am humbleized by you. You are humbleized. That's a new word. I like that. Um, sure, put in your next song. <laughs> you, thank you so much for coming to our territory. Um, I don't know what else to say, but thank you. Well, we, we, You're going to turn it out tomorrow night. We're very, very happy to be here, and um, um, uh, it's so wonderful. Um, the last time I came here was with Miriam McGeever 23 years ago, and it's, a lady. it's such a privilege to be able to come with such another wonderful. A uh, talented lady from South Africa, Lira, and very excited to be here. She is it's, beautiful. Isn't she? Yeah. I mean, can you dig it? Can you dig it? But watch it. That's her husband, Robbie, there. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. Well, uh, once again, <laughs> folks, I'm not going to keep them because they need to get to their destination. They've been flying. And, Hugh, I know you're going to turn it out. Folks, it's not too late to get your tickets at both locations. And, please, we don't get top acts like this often. So I am just... 
honored, man. And I just can't wait. You got to give me an autograph too, brother. Okay. All right. You, Master Kayla and Lyra, it's tomorrow night, Island Center, 730? 8, 8, 8 o'clock. All right. Gates open at 7, 8 o'clock, and then Reichel Center the next night. You, Master Kayla, my brother. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. Can you dig it? And Lyra. Mm, how sweet it is, Jerome. Back to the studio, baby. West Small for News Channel 8. Lucky West got to do that story, and he also got an autograph from Hugh Masekela, jazz legend. And when we come back from this break, we'll take a look at your lottery numbers as well as a new play at Good Hope School. Stay with us.